Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's that Star Wars guy here with my first lightsaber review on my YouTube channel. Before we start, if you haven't already clicked that subscribe button and hit the bell for notifications, much appreciated, you guys. Thank you. So, this is a very, like, different lightsaber than most lightsabers you probably have seen before in Star Wars canon. So, this is a unique lightsaber called the Darksaber, a manual electronic Darksaber. So, it was first introduced in the Clone Wars on the Mandora plot episode, which is a very good episode in my opinion. Then it got to Rebels, and then we got uh, uh, Mandalorian, eight, the eighth episode, which I recommend you watch that in the Clone Wars. It's so good. It's so good. And then anyway, we got the button on the package for power up and then hold down for lightning effects, which I'll show in a sec. They got the packaging looks is very nice on this lightsaber. It got Sabine, Darth Maul, Pre Vizsla. And then I love the detail on the lightsaber. You got little cracks like in the lightsaber. I think that's good attention to detail for the dark saber. The hilt looks nice too with the black lines. I love it. Little white lines. Side of the package got Bo Katan, Sabine again, Darth Maul, and then uh, Pre Vizsla in his Mandalorian helmet. Let's see at the back. So now. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> Alright, anyway, so now we have uh, the back of the package which shows the features of the lightsaber. Hold down button for lightning effects, and then you gotta press that button to turn the lightsaber on. And then we got the rest of the packaging up here, which is a nice Star Wars dark saber. Yeah, that's about it. Now let's take a look at the product, you guys. I'm just gonna start off and say this is a very good adaptation of the dark saber. I really thought Hasbro was kind of like eh, mess it up, like they do have some of those like force effects or just like your lightsabers, but they kind of nailed this one perfectly and I'm happy about that. So yeah, here's the power on off switch two, one, zero. <laughs> All right, so now we have the design of the hilt. So we're gonna start with the blade. The tip of the blade, white, and then we got black inside with the cracks and details. Love that detail, very nice. It's got cool lightning effects too. I'll show you that in a sec. So now let's move on to the hilt. The hilt design I really like. It's got little rectangles inside here. And then we got the, uh, I don't know what this is like an L shape for the hilt. And then we got the uh, power up and down button. So I'll show you that in a sec. We got the black design, which is, looks very nice. Uh, little uh, uh, like rectangle on the back. And then let's move on to the side. Little lines here, which is very nice indeed. Numbers, never knew what those were. So now we have the screws. I think they hold the, I think they hold the blade together to hold it more like steady so that it doesn't come apart. Go ahead, more screws. And then on the side here, we have more black lines. On the hilt, we have more black lines. Now we got the screw to put the batteries in. I already put my batteries in, so yeah. And then we got the sound, bo sound where the sound comes out, excuse me. And then we have, I don't know what this is, like a, a clip for like a belt. I don't know, like, I don't know what that's for. I don't think it works or anything, but that's cool though. Then we have the little screws again, and then more rectangles. Then the little L. <laughs> Looks like a car seat, actually. <laughs> All right, so now, we move on to the design of the lightsaber. Let's take a look at the sounds now. On to the sound uh, of the Darksaber. It's a very nice adaptation of the Darksaber sounds, just like from the Clone Wars and Rebels and the Mandarin, which is very nice that Hasbro was able to put this into the Darksaber. So it's a sound on, sound on, power on, excuse me. Then we have a very nice clean-ish, a clean sound font to the Darksaber, just like in the shows, Star Wars shows. We have the sound coming out of this little holes here. Love that it's got white turn off on, the little details in the blade. Love that. That's such a good adaptation of the Darksaber. And then when you use the clash sounds of the Darksaber, which is very nice. Very nice. Very nice and exactly accurate. Now let's hold it down for lightning effects. Goes up with the LEDs, which I think is pretty cool. And that's awesome that Hasbro did that. Very cool. It's got the white strips. Turns blue here. I don't know why. Maybe just for a power up. But it's very nice though. So now let's deactivate it. Very nice. I love it a lot. All right, let's see how it does in action. All right, guys, it's time for the final verdict of this light or dark saber. So, in my opinion, Hasbro nailed the dark saber, electronic dark saber, very well. Very 
great lightsaber. First time they've ever made a dark saber. They did it perfectly. I hope they make a, <laughs> excuse me, a force effects version in the future, which would be very cool. And I would love that. So yeah, very nice lightsaber. Or dark saber. I keep saying that. All right. So it was so good to, to review this. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Bye.